Panthers fans. What's going on? It's Mitch here of The Bottom Line View here to give you my prediction, record prediction for the Carolina Panthers in 2022. How will they perform this season? What will their record be going game by game, matchup by matchup, determining the tough matchups for the Panthers, the easy matchups for the Panthers, and how this team may fare in 2022, giving you my in-depth look at every single game. If that sounds good, don't forget to gronk, spike the like button, and subscribe to the channel for more BLV just like this. Also, get in the comment section below and let me know how you feel the Panthers will perform in 2022. Will it be good? Will it be better than a lot of people expect? Or will they struggle? Let me know in the comment section below. And let's pick some games. Panthers fans. It's time for your record prediction. By the way, I appreciate everybody that watched my Matt Corral video and supported it and enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the comments, awesome stuff from you guys. Really, truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me, so thank you so much for watching that video. And I hope this video doesn't make you hate me now because I'm about to be pretty negative about the Panthers overall. But I just want to say this. For the Panthers, this is sort of a rebuilding year. Not really, but kind of, right? They have yet to find their quarterback, which I believe it will be Matt Corral, but it's not going to be this year. I think they're going to go into the year with Sam Darnold starting, and I think he's going to play a majority of the season until he just stinks it out. And that's what I think is going to happen. You know, the Panthers as a roster, I think are fairly solid and actually pretty talented. So this is a really difficult team for me to predict because if they had a good quarterback, I'd be really high on this team. But the main areas that I don't like your team are quarterback and coach. So those are the two main areas for winning football games in the NFL. So the Panthers might be one of those teams that they get another high draft pick. And then this time next year with Matt Corral starting, we could be talking about a team that's a very interesting dark horse entering 2023, which I think is very, very intriguing. But as for 2022, let's go over your schedule and talk about the games that you could win and the games that you're likely going to lose. So let's begin with week number one. You play the Cleveland Browns without Deshaun Watson, pretty much most likely. I mean, there's a small chance he plays this game, but... You might be lucky where there's almost no chance he plays because the talk is he's going to be suspended for at least four weeks, if not a lot more. So if that's the case, I could see the Panthers pulling off a crazy win in week one when they play at home. I understand that Cleveland is a fairly talented team and one of the more talented AFC teams in terms of their ability to run the ball, in terms of their ability to manage a quarterback like Jacoby Brissett. I mean, are we talking about Sam Darnold being better than Jacoby Brissett by much? No, it's very small. I mean, I would say Sam Darnold, when he's playing at his best, yeah, he's better than Jacoby Brissett. But we've also seen Jacoby Brissett's probably a little bit better at managing a game. Sam Darnold can be really bad at times. So both teams are talented, but I'm gonna lean towards the home team when it comes to no Deshaun Watson in this game week two you play the new york giants possible you could win this game but i'm gonna go with the giants here i think the giants have improved this offseason i like their coaching staff a heck of a lot and i think that's the edge they have brian dayball is one of the top offensive minds and don martindale is one of the top defensive minds i think that's the edge they have on you guys i think don martindale's aggressive blitzing style will cause some issues for sam Darnold as it has in the past so that's my opinion on that game week three you play the saints i could see you guys beating the saints this year once um just as you did last year now part of the thing there was the whole covid situation i could see you guys doing it again but I want to be careful about that because they were missing so many coaches and so many players that it's really difficult to give an evaluation based on that game. So I'm going to say the Saints win. I think they're the more talented team. I think Jameis Winston can be manage a game, make enough throws and plays where they can pull that one out. Would I be extremely surprised if Carolina won this game? No, not really. I don't think the Saints are unbeatable by any measure. 
but I'm going to go with the Saints. Week four, you play the Arizona Cardinals, and for some reason, I think you're going to win this game, but I also want to be careful here because <laughs> the Cardinals... Uh, maybe I'm too low on at this point. Like, I continuously give them losses where I don't know if I be really should be, especially considering Kyler Murray is a lot better than Sam Darnold. So just picking against Kyler Murray when Sam Darnold is the opposing quarterback, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me, <laughs> to be honest with you. But the Panthers really destroyed the Cardinals last year. I don't even remember if Colt McCoy was the quarterback or if it was Kyler Murray, but I do remember that being the Cam Newton I'm back game, which was a lot of fun. That could have given them the boost for that big win. But you know what? I'm going to say you win that game. I, d I don't know why. I just kind of feel like you're going to win that game. Just a gut feeling. Week five, you play the Niners. I prefer the Niners there. I think they've got a massive coaching edge. And although I'm not a huge Trey Lance guy, I think they're just such a talented roster on both sides, and they've got such a big schematical advantage that they should win that game on the road. Week six, you play the Super Bowl champs, the Rams, which I've got the Rams at home. You then play the Bucks, which that's a crazy streak of games. You play the Niners, the Rams, and the Bucks, the three best teams in the NFC, arguably, in a row. So that's insane. I'm taking the Bucks there. Week eight, you play Atlanta in Atlanta. I'm taking Atlanta, and I think you split with the Atlanta Falcons this year, so I will take you to win the Week 10 game at home on Thursday night and for you to lose the Week 8 game on the road. I'm going to take the Bengals at home in Cincinnati to beat you guys because Joe Burrow is awesome. Their offense is really good. That's the AFC representative in the Super Bowl, and I really like that team. Week 11, the Ravens in Baltimore. Good luck winning that game. Week 12, you play the Broncos, and I'm going to go with Russell Wilson there. Although, if there was a maybe a crazy upset to be had on this stretch, I could see that being the game at home versus Russell Wilson before the bye week. You never know, you know, if Brian Burns and your pass rush has a big game, they could force some turnovers and, and force Russ to make some mistakes. But Russ has been pretty successful against the Panthers in his history. Then you've got the week 13 bye. And then probably at this point, week 13 bye, you're going to see Matt Corral come into the lineup. So I could see maybe a strong finish to this season. And the hope is maybe you beat Seattle here. You play the St Steelers in week 15 at home, which is not an impossible game to win where the Steelers got a strong defense, but an offense that's very suspect and potentially also starting a, a rookie quarterback. So this is the stretch here. These three games where I could see you picking up some wins. I think you could beat the Lions for sure on the Saturday at home. I think you could beat Seattle and I'm going to say you lose to the Steelers and then you lose to the Bucks and lose to the Saints. So overall, I have your record as 5 and 12, potentially 4 and 13 if you let's say drop the game in Seattle. So I have you at about 4 and 13, 5 and 12 if that makes sense, okay? So that's the the record I have for the Carolina Panthers. I really again think that this roster has some talent. And I think the future could be bright, but I'm just not sold on Matt Rule. I'm not sold for sure on Sam Darnold. And I feel like this team is not going anywhere with the current coach quarterback situation that they offer. So that's how I truthfully feel about the Panthers. Are there games here that you could upset some teams and win? Yes, you could beat the Giants early. Yes, you could potentially upset a team like the Broncos. Uh, it could happen. Who knows? But overall, that's how I see you guys. 4 and 13, 5 and 12. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's Mitch. Appreciate you watching. And we'll see you in the next record prediction video. Peace.